Hey everybody, it's your boy Zero here doing another Gunpla review. In today's episode, we are doing the Death Scythe Hell EW from Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. And this is going to be some fan bias because it's my favorite Gundam, but this is my second or third favorite SD. Number one is being the Barbatos. Number two, probably the Impulse Sun Wukong. Again, I know who I am. If it looks cool, it's automatically on the, you know, docket. But this is my favorite one, my one of my favorite SDs because it's based off my favorite Gundam. I picked up this dude long, long ago. But I think you can get it at Friends of Galactic Toys. If not, of course you have Amazon, eBay, or check any store you feel comfortable with ordering from. But yeah, so this is my favorite, one of my favorite SDs for my favorite suits, and. I had to eventually knock this guy out the list of Gumpla I have to review. So let's get to the review itself and talk about why I love this little dude. Okay, so this is a backlog kit, so we're just going to get to the review itself. because That's the easier part. So, give you all a heads up. You see this waist? It's a little bit janky. So be careful. One false movement, or if you drop him he will split in half not break but the peg will take off which kinda sucks sorry about that camera's acting a little bit weird give me a second I think I can fix it okay as I was saying before I had to fix the camera so the waist is janky so be careful if you drop it it will split in half on you the piece won't break per se but the connecting part would separate from the lower half. It'll take some and it's a kind of a pain to put back together. That's the major flaw in this thing. Monising, of course, the sticker issue that all SD Gundams have. In fact, see the black parts here and here on the wings? Well, the entire wings are black, but the pointy parts? Yeah, those are supposed to be red, and I will own up to my own screw-ups. I put the stickers on the back. It's supposed to be on the front. But I do wish they had Four red stickers, like two for each, one for each side. But that's just me. This wing actually moves, which I'm actually surprised. Well, this way and that way, you don't get anything much out of that. But it does move a little bit more than the high grade one, so that's not much, but it's better than nothing. Also, you're supposed to get some white here. I believe there was a sticker for that on the farms. And while the high grade had a weirdly yellow beam that I painted orange to make it correct, this just gave you, this is, I believe, was made of two pieces, part of the, up to part of the scythe and then the scythe blade itself. But like I said, it's been a while, so I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, they gave you two stickers, one for each side, which I find kind of nice, but annoying that one... You could have given me a green piece of plastic for the blade. And two, at least this gave me color accurate, ac color correct scythe for trying to make at least color correcting it with the SD, but not the high grade. I guess different time, but still kind of annoying. Let's, get, let's see if we can get the scythe out of the hands because it's been in there for forever. Or at least part of the hand. There we go. Okay. Let's do the articulation. That's the arm bent. That's not actually pretty. That's not actually bad. That's the arm up all the way. Not great, but not again. Not bad for an SD. You do have a bit of an ab crunch, but again, be very careful with that. You do get full rotation of the head. If the scythe wasn't in the way. And yes, the vents on the side of the face are also stickers. As are the eyes and the camera on the top of the head. But there is no sticker for the back of the head. It's like sometimes I... I do not have the sticker for the back of the head. Maybe they did have it. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, it was a while ago. 
and there's the foot all the way down hey look the waist finally popped off so yeah this piece right here this isn't what I like to call dependable and you saw all I did was a couple of ab crunches and it just got loose enough that it just fell off there we go but that is a pain to deal with also it is back heavy as sin so it will fall backwards on you let's get the scythe out of the hand so there's a scythe not fancy actually no I'm wrong it's actually one piece yep one solid piece so yeah nothing too great nothing too fancy just a simple hunk of plastic that you can put a sticker on but surprisingly I still love this thing Again, there is some biases because this is my favorite Gundam. So, when I learned I could build it, and I had to own one. Okay, and yeah, you can move it. You could move the Gundam side to side, but. But be careful, again, the waste unit is bad, so it will fall apart on you. And that really sucks. But let's get to the summary and I can wrap up the review of my favorite little SD. Well, one of them at least. So, let's do it. So, would I recommend the SD Death Scythe Hell Custom from Endless Worlds Gundam Wing? Hmm. This is surprisingly more difficult than you think. On the other hand, it's an SD. So they're relatively cheap, easy to build, quick and to the point. Nothing too fancy. But on the other hand, like, this has some bad, some a major flaw of the waist. And I don't know if the same thickening, the joint system, will work on it without really screwing up the mechanics for it. At least with high grades, you can circumvent that by only thickening up that specific piece. But with ST's shrunk down size, you gluing that one piece will literally probably mess up the insides of the chest cavity. But again, I've never done that. Maybe it doesn't. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah. If you like SDs, then get it. If you love the Death Scythe like I do, I say get it. Complete your collection of tiny Grim Reapers. That's what I did. But if you don't like either of those things, then I really wouldn't 100% recommend it. Oh, other exception, if you want to complete all the Operation Meteor guys. If you want to complete Operation Meteor, then yes, get it. But if you don't need to, eh, I wouldn't recommend it. Only if you are a Gundam Wing fan. If you are a Death Sight Hell fan or a Death Scythe fan, or you are an SD Gundam collector. It's one of those, great for those people, but not great for everybody else. And I have a feeling that's really SDs in a nutshell. If you don't have like a little, little kid, or you're not a huge fan of that Gundam, or that line, or that franchise, an SD isn't worth it to you, or... To me, they're gr good in a sense because they're ten bucks. They're quick, they're cheap, and it takes you, it takes less than an hour to build one. The same for an entry grade, but entry grades can be more expensive. But this is like ten bucks, or sometimes less. So, like I said, it's a mixed bag here. If you really love them, love this little dude, I say get it. Who doesn't like a little Grim Reaper? But if you're not a huge fan of the Death Scythe Hell custom, then don't. I'd rather you save your money for a Gunpla that you actually enjoy than buy a Gunpla that I suggest because it looks neat. But with that being said, I want to thank everybody for watching. This was the Gunpla I meant to review last week, but due to complete utter exhaustion, I could not get that episode right. 
but I'm wide awake now and I'm good to go. So, yeah. Uh, Sunday's episode, I have no idea what's going to be. I'm going to the New York Gundam Base Tour event. Hopefully I will pick up, I'll be able to pick something up. If not, I'll be hitting Midtown Comics and probably picking up something there. And those Gundams will not be involved on Sunday's episode, but you will get fo- you guys will get photos from the event when I get- when I can post them, because you know I figure you guys would enjoy that. Uh, as for Sunday, back to the important thing. Sunday, I'm probably going to do the Destiny Real Grade because I like the Destiny Gundam, and I did kind of mention it in the beginning of this video, so I figure eh, might as well add it. But with that being said. And Thursday's next th- week's episode, specifically next week, next Thursday's, uh, I have no idea. Maybe it'll be my custom build, which I may have figured out the name for it, finally. I'll put it on the video. If not, be another SD. Or maybe I'll finally get off my rump and de-armor one of my core Gundams to actually review another core Gundam armor. I haven't decided yet. The week is still young. So, again, with that being said, I want to thank all of you for watching. I know the ending of my videos, usually with especially the backlog kits, and especially the SDs, tend to be more of a ramble session. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. And I hope you stay. And if you've been here from the beginning, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh... If you want to continue supporting the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm. And that's how I get noticed by other people who may enjoy my videos. So, and if you want to support the channel other ways, my links are down below. Buy, buy one of my books. Uh, use my links to Galactic Toys, which is good for 24 hours. Buy something. The same goes for Entertainment Earth. It may not be for 24, but I'm not 100% sure. Just to give you guys a heads up. So, hey, if you find something on that website, go for it. So, again, thank you all for watching. All of you are appreciated. All of you are loved. And you guys are a great group. So I'll catch you guys on Sunday. Peace.